Okay, this is a recruiter on LinkedIn. Now, recruiters, their job is to get jobs for other people. And um, they're famously quite annoying. Mm. Now, I've gotten a lot of fake texts from recruiters, which I know are fake because I have no skills. Sure. Uh, but there are, a lot of them are like, you passed your interview with Flying Colors. Please put in your credit card, handsome. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 robot. You're a robot. Think I'm handsome? <laughs> <laughs> Please, dear, put in your information. <laughs> I've never gotten one of those. I only get texts from, like, Democrats for my dad. That's what I get every day. It's like, Jed, it's Ilan Omar. Bro, Democrats love your dad. They do. Democrats think your dad is so cool. He's donated to each and every one of them. Right, he's He's, he's like the change he wants to see in the world. That's right. Um, anyway, this is a recruiter sending a text to a job who hasn't answered him about one of his clients. Bruh. The moon, the moon robot is going off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not picking up on the podcast. Please stop talking about the uh, moon robots. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Toby Marks, he says, as a recruiter, we are constantly having to find new and interesting ways to get a hold of clients. And this is him texting one of the... So, like... This is like one of his clients applied for a job. He didn't hear back. He's texting the job. So he texts the guy at the job. He says, thanks for the other night. You were absolutely sensational. Can't wait to do it again. Imp emoji, imp emoji. Oh, my God. And then he goes, sorry, who is this? And then Toby says, Peter, it's Toby from Mark's Consulting Partners. Glad your phone is working. <laughs> Sent you three CVs two weeks ago and haven't heard a thing back. Please let me know your thoughts so I can keep my candidate up to date. You're the absolute mad lad, Toby Marks. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Toby Marks, you rock. <laughs> you like this guy? I think he's the man, and you should have sex <laughs> with him. Preferably under a bridge. <laughs> I didn't even consider that angle, that he could just fuck this guy and make it true. That's how you get people to join your company, as far as I've noticed. There's no way I'm answering that text. If I get the, like, thanks for last night, it was so fun to have sex with you. I'm not being like... Um, who had sex with me? <laughs> I didn't, I swear. <laughs> I'm just not answering it. <laughs> Did my wife get a new phone? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just texting like really confidently like, Janet? <laughs> what happened to your phone? Yeah, I feel like the implication is like, if your wife sees that, she's going to think you cheated. It's like, no, everyone's going to think it's just one of the millions of bots that says that every second. <laughs> That's true. Bots are single-handedly ruining the culture of based and funny consulting firms. <laughs> I love the idea of my wife. Keep this company great. My wife looking at my Twitter and being like, um, why are you looking at nudes in her profile? <laughs> <laughs> Whose crazy pussy is this in bio? <laughs> Do you know this woman who has no arms? <laughs> <laughs> she is from America and looking for boyfriend? Are you? Did you have sex with this woman with seven breasts? <laughs> oh, fellas. You got to try it. Think about it. Don't knock it till you tried it. Yeah, it's like being stuck in a forest of breasts. It's like lying on a pillow. Think about how wide that chest would be. Or how small the breasts would be. It's like having sex with a bug who's a woman. <laughs> Ooh, the queen. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most desirable bug. As far as many, like, the queen. Go, the queen is, like, the hottest bug. Honestly, like, every ant wants, which is, the queen is, like, Kate Upton to ants. <laughs> <laughs> She's always promoting game of war with yeah. other tribes of ants. Do you think that the ants, whatever, they're, like, carrying big pieces of sugar or whatever, or like, dude. Queen's so fucking hot. Bro, don't, don't try to impress the queen. She's not going to be impressed by that sugar. I just saw the queen, dude. I I can't wait till she dies and I turn into her. I know she likes That's me. That's bees. I think bees turn into the queen, right? They, do they turn? Oh, because they melt down the corpses, you mean? I don't fucking know, dude. What are you talking about? They turn into the anything. queen? thing. It's 100 degrees yet, but I mean, still, but it isn't like warmed up in here that much yet for Jeremy to be saying that the bees turn into the queen. Um, I know that like there's royal jelly. Are you talking about royal no, jelly? There are some plants. Uh, some some plants. <laughs> there are some bugs where like the queen dies, and then like one of the guys is like, "I'll be the new queen." Yeah, that that they don't turn. See, the the thing about these queens, and I hate to go off on this, is they're like ten times larger than the other bugs. <laughs> you can't just become yeah, it's one. Not, it's not there's not like a piece. funny like workplace comedy where the little ant is queen for a day. <laughs> You're like, it's like a different species almost. 
Um, yeah, you're right. The, it's the larva gets fed a bunch to become sexually mature. I would love to hear you talk your way out of the bee becomes the queen. <laughs> Can somebody please figure out what I'm thinking of? You're you're fucking on one today. I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> I'm so I blame tired. Milo. 